Here's the array so far. I'm missing a few end caps down there and also the, the little plug caps at the top for those things to settle into. So I didn't put any in those last three, but as it stands right now, these the one on the right, the integrated one, there's two separate uh, styles there. The integrated one is on the right, and that's got the water heater tank basically laid down on the side across the top, and those heat pipes stick right into the, the water heater tank and heat it up directly. The separated pipes, uh, you have to pump water or a, a solution, glycol solution, through uh, into the tank water heater inside. Well, I'm not using it to heat water for... Um, doing dishes or anything like that. That's the job of the big orange one on the end there. I'm using it to heat up this 55 gallon barrel that is very sketchily held together up on top of there. I'm gonna have to do something about the stand, I know that. But So this is the, the top pipe that goes in up at the top and this thing is actually warm to the touch right now. It's, uh, it's zero moving parts. It's all just uh, working this is the cold. It's um, it's just convection, you know. It, um, hot goes in the top, cold goes out the bottom, and um, just the, the slight, slight uh, density differential causes water to go up that pipe and down that one. And that has, is enough to uh, create a flow. So that's the out on the inside. It goes down to the end of this one. I just got these tubes installed just now and it goes through that little connector there, clear connector and uh, over here I've got it already um, insulated a little bit but yeah it's a thermo siphon um, setup, zero moving parts the only thing I'm gonna run into for trouble I think is it's probably gonna end up getting too hot I'm gonna have to cover up these collectors when it gets too too darn hot so well go big or go home this is the inlet side uh, hold on. No, that's the outlet side of the thermal siphon. That's the hot side. 74, 75 degrees. Now down here, so that's that one. Uh, now here's the outlet. 50 degrees. Almost 75 degrees. And that's a, not even a, a purely um, sunny day. I mean, it's like hazy overcast right now. So I'm really curious to see what this thing will do on a bright cloudless day. Here's a brand new box of solar evacuated solar collector tubes look like. I got the little uh, bulb there at the top on the heat uh, the, not a heat pump. <laughs> oh well, I'll fix that and later but it looks like there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve in here but this is a spare one because it doesn't have the, the heat pipe heat pipe thank you yeah heat pipe in there so i guess they give you one extra that's kind of nice because i got a broken one and this is the heat pipe that's inside of it it's got aluminum fins just bent into shape that fit around that uh the heat pipe tube just goes all the way down to the bottom end, there's the bulb. Oh, come on. I'm not going to use AVE's signature. Uh, there, hit it. There we go. There's the bulb at the bottom of it. That's what it looks like. I guess this might be interesting to the right kind of mind. The, um, these are two different manufacturers these collectors. It's the exact same diameter but the length of the heat pipe bulb is a little bit longer on the older one so I guess they come in different uh, lengths. I got this thing flipped the right direction now. So that's the hot outlet of the collectors and there's the inlet to the collector. So the sun is almost down now. Um, doesn't do much good to point this at the sun, I guess. Um, so as you can see, that it goes up to the barrel. Looks like a lightsaber. And then look at the barrel. This is what's pretty neat. Back up a little bit. So that whole barrel is full of 100 degree water. I don't know how much energy there is uh, taking up the temperature from 50 degrees up to 100 degrees of, you know, probably about 50 gallons of water. 
but I guess I can do some calculations and see how many calories it is. But isn't that neat? That's pretty cool, man. I dig it.